Hello my dear student, myself Mr. Rajesh. You all are welcome to standard 9. We will start fundamental unit of life. See. So what is exactly the fundamental unit of life? That is the cell. So why cell is called fundamental unit of life? So according to definition cell is the structural and functional unit of an organism. Few organism exist having only one cell, single cell, all set of the physiological activity is being covered by single cell. By the help of one cell they do all set of works like respiration, excretion, digestion, all the systems work in the single cells. And if you go to multicellular organism, a group of cell combining to form tissue, tissue to organ, organ to organ system, organ system to organism. It might be single cell, it might be multicellular organism. Ultimately the organism depends on cell. If cell will not work, the tissue will damage, the organ will damage, organ system will damage and organism will be affected. Right? That's why cell is called the structural and functional unit of an organism. Got the point. So now we'll discuss briefly what exactly cell. Who discovered it? What are the history behind the cell? Let's see. The cell was first discovered by Robert Hooke from a thin slice of cock. In 1665, Robert Hooke discovered dead cell. from a thin slice of cork and he said a honey complex structures present in it honey complex structures present in it by his simple microscope later living cell was discovered in 1674 by Evil that is sperm cell later cell contain a living part that is called the protoplasm and it was discovered by in 1835 protoplasm was discovered by Duzardin in 1831 nucleus was discovered by Robert Brown so these are the few steps was given as uh, taken by few scientists on cells so let's see in detail what cell contain and what are the parts of cell and with structure and cell. Before going to cell part, let me discuss some idea regarding microscope. Because you can see the cellular part by using microscope. Microscope was primitive, primitively discovered by Few scientists, there is a three types basically. The old one is simple microscope and compound microscope, electron microscope. Simple microscope is used by Robert Hooke. Compound microscope was discovered by Janssen. It was Antinovan Leeuwenhoek. Electron microscope discovered by Knoll and Ruska. 
सो वॉट एक्सैक्टली आउ देर बुकिंग डिज आर हेविंग सेम कंसेप्ट बेसिकली द माइक्रोस्कोप हैविंग टू पार्ट द रिजोल्यूशन पार्ट एंड द इल्यूमिनेशन पार्ट रिजोल्यूशन एंड इल्यूमिनेशन सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप हैविंग द रिजोल्यूशन फ्रॉम वन टू हंड्रेड इट इज फ्रॉम हंड्रेड टू टेन थाउजेंड इट इज अराउंड टू टू टेन लैक्स the size can increase up to that level 10 10 lakhs larger size from its original size this is around 10000 around 100 so what about illumination means the source of light the simple and compound microscope depend on external light external light source but this depend on electromagnetic radiation the source of light or the illumination source is electromagnetic radiation for the electro microscope and external light sources by using some glass they are using simple and compound microscope this is about our microscope concept now we'll go i'm going to direct the cell part what exactly it contain